Hi there, my name's Steve, and in this video, I'm going to take you through some SEO settings in your admin account that you can use to manage the metadata associated with each section of your live website. So gallery pages, category pages, web pages, blog posts, and so on. So SEO, very quickly, uh, is an acronym that stands for Search Engine Optimization, and it's essentially a series of methods you can use to ensure that potential customers find you faster through search engines like Google. Right, so let's make a start. I'm gonna move over to the Libraries tab and then down to my Galleries page. And here I'm just gonna work with my first gallery here, Natural Beauty. I'm gonna hover the mouse over the gallery and hit the Pencil Edit icon. And that is gonna bring me to my Edit Gallery section. And the bottom here, we have SEO information. Click on that once. And here are my meta fields. We've got access now to a meta title field, a meta description field, and meta keywords field. And at the top here, we have a preview of how your website will most likely show up on a search engine results page. So when a customer runs a Google search for your site, for example. Okay, so quickly looking at these fields, you can see that at the moment, our preview by default takes the title of the gallery, Natural Beauty, as its meta title. If you wanted to enter a custom meta title to appear in the search engine results page though, you could place that in this meta title field and you'll see the preview updates accordingly. Uh, similarly with the description, at the moment that's just a uh, an example description, you could enter in here uh, a description such as uh, natural landscape photography of Australian coastlines and the description up here in the preview will update accordingly just to give you an idea of how that result might present in a search engine results page. Down the bottom here we have meta keywords that we can enter. Um, just a couple of hints. It's a really good idea to keep your keywords consistent with some of the keywords used in your description and even in your meta title fields. So don't entirely fill this field with hundreds of keywords. You really only want to use a handful of keywords that are highly relevant to your brand of photography in order to get the best SEO results here. So for example, I'm going to enter, um, I'm going to use landscape photography here, Australia, coastline, and perhaps seascape. There might be a couple of extra keywords I could come up with, but definitely avoid what is referred to as keyword stuffing. And if you hit this link here, you'll come to a page with uh, a lot more information on that topic for you. So there's a few tips. Uh, for the moment, I'm going to save those changes. So that is adding meta descriptions, titles, and keywords to my gallery. If I leave the gallery section now and move back to the website tab, and I look at pages. So I want to highlight that with my web pages, like home and about, for example, I can run through exactly the same process by selecting that page there. And if I then scroll to the bottom of the web page settings section, Again, we see the SEO information table, so I can edit those fields, those meta fields once again for my home page or about page. If I come back again to the website pages section, and this time I check the portfolio page. So this is the page that actually houses my galleries. By scrolling just a little way down the page here, I again have access to the metadata for this portfolio page. Uh, again, coming back to the pages section, in exactly the same way I can access those meta fields for my main blog page. And if I come across to the blog section in my navigation strip, then I can also enter the settings for my individual blog posts. So in this post I can scroll to the bottom and again I can access the metadata fields for this individual blog post. One last point to uh, brush past. We looked earlier at editing the gallery pages. If I come down to my gallery categories section, if you're using categories in your live site setup, you can come to this category section, hit the pencil edit icon for each category. And once again, at the bottom of this section will be an SEO information field or table rather, where you can access those same meta fields. Great, so that's a quick rundown on how to access the metadata fields for every section of your live website. Have a look through the rest of the SEO FAQ section for more information on how to best use those metadata fields. And if you have any questions, you can reach us at help at photomerchant.com.